All right, what's up, everybody? So it's going to be a quick update. So we're going to find out if clownfish parents eat the fry or the little babies. Something I'm really interested in right now, and I really want to find out. Wait, hold up. All right, perfect. So I had to flip over the snail. But anyways, uh, we're going to find out if the clownfish eat the fry because... I knew there was a few eggs that didn't hatch, but honestly, I don't see any fry anywhere. And I, even since the morning, I, I've been trying to find them and I can't see anything. But in contrast, I do have these fry that I did save. They're somewhere in there, so let me find them and then I'll zoom in. All right, so I managed to spot one of the fry and it's right there. See the little guy? I know, you gotta excuse my little flipper. It's a little dirty. Oh no, that's a sticker. Oh shit, I lost a fish. But anyways, uh, you saw the fish. Oh, there's some swimming right there, you see that? So I do know babies are alive. Question is, did the parents eat the remainder? But we're gonna turn in the, we're gonna turn on the main pump, or I don't know what I should turn on. Yeah, let's turn on the main. No, let's not turn on the main pump. Yeah, let's, no. Uh, it's a hard choice, guys. I don't know what pump to turn on. Uh, fuck it. Let's just turn on the the power heads or the wave makers. All right, so I turned on the wave maker, and what we're gonna see is if we see any babies flying around, and I'm gonna press feeding feeding mode if I see something but I honestly don't see anything but I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna press pause real quick yeah I'm looking around I don't see anything that looks like a baby fry or anything so I don't know I don't know if the clownfish parents eat the baby fry but for sure I don't see any uh, So I'm just going to assume most likely they do eat the fry, but like I said, I don't know. All the fry I did see yesterday, I did I did take them out, and then I did throw them over here. But I don't know. Anyways, let's take out the air stone. We don't need that shit anymore. So we're going to turn on all them pumps and all that, all right? All right, so now we're really going to find out... Uh, anything's in there because I turned on the, the big power wave maker uh, let's see I'm telling you I should see the fry but I don't see any fry so I, I don't I don't think they're alive and honestly I would either recommend take out the fry or take out the parents but don't leave them in together they're not like fighting fish dads or cichlid dads or parents um I think mostly because the fry hatch at night, mostly at night, and they just drift off in the current or something. I doubt the parents ever even take care of them. But who knows? You guys do your research, but based on here, that's just what my conclusion is. I don't know. You guys fucking like to search fuck everything. Go ask Alexa. But for sure, uh, I do see damages on some of my coral from lack of water flow for like the past two days. So that's not good. So uh, wait until next spawn. And at least we know on the seventh night, we're going to do what we just did. But at least we found some fry because I know some of you guys were in denial. But we got some fry in there. Look at that. There's one swimming right there. They're starting to become better swimmers, actually. You see that little guy right there? That guy's chilling. But, but we're going to put this little, uh, this one, this airline, we're going to make it to hatch some, some baby brine. But like I said, I don't have them on baby brine right now. So if you look, I just fed the baby fry. And look, this is what I was scared of. That the bristle worms were going to go out and try to kill all the fry. But honestly, I think I was just fearful of nothing but still something to be in consideration because they are opportunist.
But for the most part, the fry are just swimming. And then the bristle worms are just chilling right there. And the little Kenya tree, whatever light gets from this, this little setup, that's all they're going to get. I don't have the Kessel on there. There's a light I was using to, to, to get the, the, I was going to say shrimp, but I mean get the baby fry to attract them. And it worked. And all that. Go check out the videos. But anyways, guys, uh, much love. And I might go live right now, but, oh, I forgot to turn on that last pump. Hold on. Bam. Oh, it's going to run dry right now. So let's put some water right now. Bam. All right, bam. So now everything's running fun fully functioning. If there are babies, they're going to go over there. But like I said, I didn't see anything. And this is why you can't have the babies in a SPS dominant tank. Because look at that much water flow. And over here, they're, they're struggling just to swim. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Anyways, just, I just want to show you guys a quick update. And what do you guys think? And if you guys want to know what foods I'm feeding, it's very special foods that I feed right here. Bam. So I just threw some special food on the surface right here. Bam. Look at that. And now let's observe. Like I said, it drives the bristle worms wild. Look at that. That's why I was scared of throwing the fry in here just because of the bristle worms. But I noticed they don't really fuck with them or anything. So that's cool. I'm trying to find a fish, but I can't find one. They're pretty small, so they're kind of hard to find. So hold up. All right, just so we're not messed up, I did throw some sinking pellets for the bristle worms and all that. Look at that little baby fish, you see him? Swimming around eating all the food. Oh yeah, baby. It's really hard to record, guys. God damn it. Where'd it go? Alright, snap. I lost it. Hold on. Damn, this baby's right there. It's like they get tired of swimming or some shit. Alright guys, so I'm glad I noticed this. So the temperature is kind of on the colder side. So I did put in the, the heater in there just to warm up the fry, but you can still see them swimming in there. They're not really the best swimmers and shit, but they're fucking swimming. <laughs> it's like they get tired and they go down. So I'm just going to pick up the temperature just to make sure. But uh, the little fuckers are swimming, so we're good. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, keep following, and I might go live later so you guys can check them out and all that. I might lower the... That way they don't struggle swimming. All right. Bam. But anyways, guys, I'll let you guys go. Much love, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Much appreciated, and much love. Oh yeah, this is the salt that we're using. This is how I bred the fish. Make sure you grab yours. Listen to the haters if you want. All the jealous people. But nobody does what I do. And all that. Much love and I'll see you guys next time.